Hello everyone and welcome to this week's garden tour. If you are new here, I am gardening in Queens, New York City. This is on 7B and I have a very small front yard and a rental that I've been growing vegetables. I have a few vertical planters behind me and a couple of raised beds that I'm going to show in a minute. And the pot garden belongs to my neighbor and I'm there's a lot of space in there and he let me use a lot of it and we're going to just and manage and we're just going to share the harvest. Okay, so here in my little front yard garden, a little tour if you're new. Yeah, I have my vertical planters in there. I have a couple, my wrist beds, I say two, but it's actually one that's connected. And I have some, some things growing there and some things growing pots around the floor. This crazy little cart here, it's, I bought this. So it's easier for me to take stuff to the, to the plot garden. Here on this corner, I have my lettuce that's growing in an old wine box. This box is already two years old. I used last year too. And I'm growing them kind of uh, close together because I'm going to be harvesting them as baby greens into the weather gets hot and too hot and they won't be able to grow anymore. But they're growing very nicely. They have grown, this one's looking really pretty, this one too. They have grown really well in the past couple weeks. No bug damage on them yet. I have some bug damage on my raised beds. I have transplanted some of these in here. I have asparagus crowns in there, but they haven't showed up yet. So I decided to lose, use this space just to maybe get a little crop, an extra crop of baby lettuce. This is the one asparagus that showed up. It's very thin, it's only a two year old crown, but that's when I showed before, it still looked like an asparagus. Now they have, it has opened and looking like an asparagus plant right now. Over here on my hanging pot, I have my daikon radish that is getting really big too. I have a deep pot in here that have some parsley that kind of struggled but now it's kind of coming back together about something really cool i had this nasturtium in there that i cut it off to start was that and look what's happening now <laughs> is i think it sent some new shoes who didn't cut through the roots so that's amazing i'm gonna have some nasturtium in there too same thing happened to mine and my green stock but i haven't cut it off so it'll be easier for you to understand why i'm gonna show you and more radish here in the back and i have some chives in there my box i had to pull my greenhouse a little bit closer here because of my third green stock so i think they are what happened here because i put the greenhouse they still got some sun they got it got a little warmer and then really made them grow much faster so the thyme is looking really good the sage is looking beautiful and smells amazing and my rosemary is finally kind of peeking back up too so I thought, I was like, oh my god, I'm gonna cover them, but it worked for the better. This is a leek that I planted from a food scrap and is sending a flower stalk up here. And I'm, I'm not gonna harvest seeds from it, but I might eat this. I just wanted to see if it was gonna work or not to plant um, from scraps here. It's a little experiment. Since I'm here in the back, I'm going to show the green stalk. There's a little basil. We had a cold front and it died. Um, but the other one in the front, it's doing okay, I'm just gonna plant something else in here. Cilantro is doing great. We got a little bit hot this week, but it's still, it's growing really, really fast. I grew this from seed. There's some little bok choy growing underneath there. I have a couple beets in here and they sprouted. And this is mustard. Now the cilantro it was much smaller. You can see it's cute little thing. I love sprouts. And now it's gonna look like this shortly. And I have a really big one on the raised bed over there. I don't think you can see that. There we go. I love cilantro, oh, all herbs actually. And then I have some chives here on the top. This is more bok choy. I harvested the bok choy that was here. I took it off, I harvested it, we ate it. It was getting way too big for this, it was delicious. And I put it as cherry tomato in here. It's, this variety is called Cherry Falls. It's supposed to be planted in baskets. So I'm going to let it see if you fall down. And I have a few carrots in here that might not uh, bother with the shade and I'll probably plant some things that don't need as much light in the back here as well so the tomato won't shade everything and hurt the plants there below. I have a pepper all the way down there because peppers like afternoon shade so let's see hopefully that will work. There it goes, bottom pepper in there. I have a lot of seedlings so I thought it would be okay to just experiment. Okay, all right so coming along to the back there's all those big ones here are radishes that I planted also when I assembled this, I made a video and I planted seeds. If you're curious, I'm also linking that down below. And you can watch. Those have all sprouted from seed and they're doing really, really good. There are all kinds of viruses, all different varieties. I have on this guy here, this is an nasturtium I was talking about that was I thought was also dead and sent these little leaves down here. So it's, um, it's kind of it's coming back. 
together. So that's really amazing. It was really cold, got uh, died. And I cut the other one off and the things came from the soil, but this one's here. You can see it's in the bottom of the stand. And come on, some of them looks like they're from the side, like the other ones there. This is a good example, so you see what happened with the other one. I have some carrots in here that I planted thinking this was dead. I might pull it off, I'll think about it. And my bok choy that bolted and I let go to flower for the bees. It was the first flower that I had in my garden, the earliest ones. I'm gonna really, I never collected bok choy seeds before. So I'm doing an experiment here. You can see these pods. Some of them created some seed pods, some of them didn't. So I think the ones that did got pollinated and the ones that didn't did not. But you, I'm going to let it go so I can learn about collecting seeds from brassicas. Down here I have planted some more bok choy because I was so impressed on how delicious the other ones were. But some bugs got to it. You can see that it's heavily planted. I had to tan. I didn't do it. I keep forgetting about this box here. But I also got eaten. I don't know if it's by slugs or those roly polies. I have a lot of those roly polies in here. And now I'm back inside. Like a little update on the raspberry. Look how lush, green and full it's getting. It's getting really, really big and beautiful. I'm very excited about it. I might even, I'm thinking to even give it more space to grow since it's doing so well. But I don't want to kind of remove it when it's so big. So I'll see what I'm going to do. The shallot that used to live there in the corner, I moved it because I wanted to get some things in there. But it's doing really good. It's growing very fast. It's really, really tall right now. They're the ones that are behind there. This one is garlic and those are garlic too. The garlic is also growing super fast. I'm going to put like this for perspective so you know. You can see how tall those plants are actually getting. My overwintered peppers are not doing as great. I don't know, I think I took them out too early. But also, there is some new growth going. So that's hope. Maybe they will survive. There are some tomatoes that... I have given away a lot of tomatoes this week. These are the ones that were not labeled. I either lost the label or I fell or this happened. Where I can read. I'm gonna try to take it out. It just washed off they're definitely getting too big for this pot these little pots and drying out and have a lot to do with the garden now so I, I, i'm sad to say i'm slightly neglecting them i think but they're still looking healthy even though they have some bottom leaves that i have to clean and i can i know some of them they're these purple ones i know that they probably are some of the purple shoulder varieties that are planted but something like this i really don't know it looks like a general tomato sibling to me anyways back here we have, uh, these are some Roma tomatoes, the determined tomatoes that I might plant in the pot garden. I wanted to have, I planted them later because I was not sure how those guys were going to do down there. But it's okay, they're doing fine. And we'll see, um, this I can actually give away or sell because I know what they are. They came from seeds or not. So I might, I'm going to repot those two and I'll keep you updated what their destiny will be. This is a red shiso. Uh, I actually left them here to dry and the seeds fell and now I have all these baby red shiso seedlings that I might separate and give to people too if they're interested. I have my purple basil back there growing so fast. Some okras, I planted some in the other garden, some tomatillos, some peppers up here. I leave them up because they like the heat so they buy the plastic there. Green stalks are doing really good. I Everything is growing really well in there. Look at that. This side. I have some basil, some more basil here. I'm planted to buy this lettuce is looking so cute. I'm doing this one's going to be mostly the leaf planter, so it's going to be mostly uh, leaf greens and flowers and some herbs. I have and mostly herbs, but this I also have a tomato here. This is a cherry tomato. We'll see how we'll do. Um, I just wanted to see an experiment if it would work or not, but it's only one tomato the whole tier, so hopefully it has enough soil in there that will help it grow a bit. The purple base on this side is not doing too bad. It's looking a little sad and I can see some aphids. You see the aphids. You can really see them on the purple because it's against the color. I'm gonna have to spray them later with a spray with water, high pressure water, and usually kicks them off. Also yesterday I found a ladybug in one of my green stalks. I'm so happy so hopefully they will eat these aphids too. That ladybugs are very good beneficial insects and I was very very happy to find one here yesterday. But here's our looking nice and beautiful and green. Going to the other side. This scale is getting massive. You can see how strong it is and how, how it's looking. This cool thing about the green stalks too is I can see the plants from the top so it's, I can kind of show what's going on in there when 
when they're down there it's very easy to show that angle and I harvested some lettuce that now I have another I, I forgot that I had planted two plants in there for now I had I took the whole thing out because it's just so big and then I left the smaller ones here this one's already growing very fast so I can this ones I'm gonna harvest from leaves on um, the other leaves so you can keep growing but it was too much to have two plants there this nasturtium is growing very very fast look how big this is getting this soil is really good soil is that pro mix soil so i think that's really making a big difference on the plants and how fast they're growing let me go back here this is a swiss shard or a silver beet australian variety and it's looking good starting to grow the other one it's been growing growing beautifully and start probably harvesting too oh you see this this is called the leaf miner so what this is it's the a fly usually like a fly would come here and put an egg into it and the larva will hatch and it will eat the, fly, the leaf from the inside so it's actually very easy it can't really oh, there's eggs here too there's little white eggs in here it's so important for you when you caring for your garden to flip the leaves and see if there's any pests. I'm going to already remove these eggs in here. And actually, when you do it trading for leaf miner, what I like to do, I'm just going to cut off this plant. It's not too infested yet. I just take off the piece that I see the leaf miner and I throw on the floor. <laughs> when you put it on the floor, I just like literally just mash with my feet so I make sure that I kill whatever larva is in there so it won't hatch into a fly or pest in my garden. There were more eggs in here. I am just going to scrape them off. There we go. This is my daily morning pest control. That's what I do. I know I have a lot of plants, but I try. If I see some sign of damage, I'll flip all the leaves of that plant to make because I'll know maybe a bug stopped in there. Let's do more here. Everything. Oh, more. See? The thing I actually did that too. There's more eggs in here that I'm just going to scrape it off. And I said, be just full by my shoulder. <laughs> okay. And I'll check them better. It's not that I see it later after this video. I'll check everything, make sure everyone, I don't have a lot of eggs on them. The good thing is I actually bought a bug net for this, um, for this green stock. It came in, I just haven't had a chance to put it on yet. It will cover, it's a bug net, so it prevents the insects to land there and actually lay these eggs and make damage to my plants. And while I'm down here, look how beautiful this kill is doing. I'm just completely impressed. This is the Blue Dazzling Kale, my favorite. Growing, it's the best one so far from all the places I planted in my garden. This is the same as this one from the top. The green stalks are doing great. The ones there, the one that I also planted at the same time. Maybe I overcrowded the bed, but that's not growing as fast or as big. That's this one over here. Look at these leaves. They're so big. And this switch art is looking really pretty too. This is a different variety. The one on top is red, has red veins. So pretty. I saw a leaf miner here the other day, so I cut the leaves. That's why you see this. It was me. I pulled it off so I could smash the leaf miners too. And here on this one, um, looking a little bit different. I have took, taken a lot of things out and I haven't replanted everything yet, but I that spinach bug below there is not doing really good. See some bug damage in here too. Bugs are back. I'm gonna have to do that. I'll do after the video. Yeah, be careful for that. I harvested some broccoli, some more purple broccoli this week. They just keep producing so much. There's no more here because I harvested. But you can see how already on the sides they're sending new shoots of broccoli to grow. So I don't want to take it off because it's. There's more food coming, but I need space to plant some other things, so I'm debating now what I should do. This kohlrabi is not doing really good either. It's very small, so uh, I don't know if I should... I'm, I'm thinking to make think that out so I can put warm weather crops in there. So this green stock here, I'm a little... I don't know what to do with... Oh, this brock... Oh my god, it looks like... It's already so big. I just took the brackets out in the night of the day. See, I can harvest from here and since all these side shoots. So I might leave a couple of broccoli in there because I'm enjoying this purple broccoli. It's very sweet, little nutty, really good. But I will decide and keep everyone posted. Now I have planted some, transferred some tomatoes to the pots. I have some carrot seeds in there that are sold a long time ago. They finally, they're coming up. 
and I planted potatoes in here. This is uh, this was folded. I unfolded the bag. It looked like this last time, and I added dirt all the way up to here because I almost buried some of the sprouts in here. Once those guys grow taller, I am going to put uh, dirt all the way to the top here too. This purple kale is looking really nice with these yellow flowers. I actually love the contrast of this beautiful yellow with the purple leaves. It just looks so gorgeous to me. And I am going to collect seeds from them too. So I'm also going to keep everyone updated and show you how I'm going to do it. It's probably going to be very similar to the bok choy. It's probably going to be very similar to the bok choy since they are in the same family. But you see how they went before they open, they kind of look like the broccoli red. So if you guys, if you guys don't know that, and I don't know if I mentioned the video before, sorry if I'm repeating myself. Those are actually edible. Those stems that look like a little, before they open to the flower, they look just like the bro like broccoli. They taste very similar to uh, as well, so you can just cook them as you would if it was broccoli wrap, if you're done with your kale, if you're bolted and you want to make space in your garden for new things, don't waste them. You can eat the kale and you can also eat the pods as broccoli. On this side here, I have more some uh, tomatoes that I repotted, some peppers, there's an eggplant that I put. This is a patio baby eggplant, it's going to live on this plant, on this pot forever. So it's supposed to be a smaller variety for patios and I'm very excited to see if this is going to do well and it's going to be that's its final home. I put a pepper in this pot here and there's a solar calendula. Let's see how they're going to do. And here on the raised beds the peas are doing amazing. They're starting to climb. Looking really good. Remember that tomato that I put it in here and said it was an experiment see if it was going to do I was too cold to put look how big it looks it's maybe put my hand so you, you would have a reference but it's huge it's looking really good this it's a red it's a costaluzu genovese I never know how to say but it's a red ribbon heirloom tomato I have borage in here that's looking really good some borage in the back that's also looking good this is a kohlrabi that I cut off some leaves because I planted a tomato here too this is newer I planted this this week and so it's small those two were there, I think, in the last garden tour. If not, those are tomatoes too. This is a cauliflower that I don't know if it's going to live in here. It's very good looking spinach that I need to harvest soon. And broccoli is growing very well too. This is a calabrese sprouting broccoli. That will be a green variety. I harvested one of the lettuces in there. And now this is the remaining lettuce in the raised bed. It is huge. It's looking really good. I'm going to harvest the outer leaves to eat very soon too. And this is also broccoli. And this kohlrabi is getting a little bit big, so it will be time for me to harvest soon too. So you can see how it's already forming, the little kohlrabi bulb. So I can I, I prefer to eat kohlrabi when it's younger than when it gets too big. So I'm going to take this when just a little bit, maybe in a couple weeks from now, we'll be ready to eat. And then I'm going to plant more tomatoes. I have another tomato here, another tomato in here. Just while those other things are growing, I hope that they get a little bit big. And once I harvest them, at least they have some chance to get a bit taller. There's a sunflower growing back there that's not looking that good. It's kind of small, but I put it planted from seed. I actually haven't noticed it <laughs> now because it looks like a pea, but I can see there's some flower now. And I'm going to take all of this little bok choy and some radishes I got eaten. I was leaving them as a trap crop because they seem this, it seems like the bugs are eating the baby seedlings, but they're leaving alone the beautiful big plants. But I'm worried that they are taking too much from the soil too. So let's see how it's going to look this week, next week, if I'm deciding to take them off or not. Some of them are growing big enough that I might be able to eat them soon. So that would be ideal. But here it is, look how it's so big. I'm very impressed on how much growth in one week. This cart over here to the pot garden and I'm gonna plant some of this stuff in here, some crazy little looking potatoes and all of these tomatoes and etc. But I'm gonna do the garden tour first then I'm gonna take some time to get all of this in the ground as well. Oh, this time I have something so exciting going on. Look at that. The grave vines are waking up. That's so awesome. So last week I didn't notice any new growth, but now if you look it up there, there's a lot of new leaves coming. 
which I think it's super cool. Down here, the rose is just growing so fast. Can't wait to see when this blooms. I'm truly really excited. Look below here how big it is too. These guys are just getting huge. Here are those ones, no more flowers as we saw last week too. What rose is? This rose bush really got really big compared to last time. Look at that. It's like a tiny little thing. You could see the base now. You can't even see it anymore. There's this side over here. I bought this sage that is also doing really, really good. This has got some sun in there. I had kind of limited space on my side. I might put some potato grow bags in here too, thinking about it. And as I said last time, there's more things going on here. I planted a bunch of stuff during this week. So. This kale was here, I put a tomato in the corner. I don't know if it's a good placement or not, but I felt like putting it there, so I did. Don't know what kind anymore, but we'll discover through the season. I have a zinnia here, because I want to put some flowers. I also sold a bunch of sunflower seeds everywhere, and I'm hoping to see some of them sprout. Here I have little okras. Going on, this is a plant, it's Brazilian, it's called mashishi. I don't know, I don't think anybody here knows. But look at this, there's a mint, I just, just noticed. Mint growing here, oh my god, a lot of mint. So I think the roots might have come from underneath and is now here. So that might be a problem, because mint's really hard to manage, but I'll pick that out later. Try to see if my okra grows well here. Wow, the squash is really big. I also put a squash in here, even though it's looking yellow, because I think it was already yellow when I planted. Uh, it's grow, grown a lot since I put it in here. I don't know if I should put some magnesium in the soil. If I had any suggestions, I think I just might need, I'll give it a little bit more time and see if it goes back to green. Those new leaves look really healthy. So let's just see. This tomato is also not looking really good in here. But I think I already planted as this. I'm also going to trim this leaf here. And I have okra in here. Okra grows well in poor soil, so I didn't amend this side. I'm just seeing if it's going to grow right next to this fig tree. That's also, I just noticed, blooming. Look at that. Everyone now, it's fully, officially awake. And now pot got Oh, there's a lot more. Here it is. Some of this new growth. So pretty. I love this. I always love to see that. What is the other one? Parsley. Wow, it's really big. Pick back up in there. Have more squash. All the squash that I planted, the seedling leaves are getting yellow. This red lettuce is gorgeous. Growing in here. That romaine again. Growing. Good. I don't know if that's much difference from last week or not. I don't think so. This mustard definitely has. This mustard is looking much nicer. That little lettuce in the back is okay. These guys are too small. Might have. I might change them. I talked to actually my neighbor's wife this week too and she told me you can use this thing as a trellis so I'm putting a squash in here even though we might not get as much sun. Who knows? Let's just see how that's gonna uh, work for us. Whoa! This marigold is huge. I put this marigold here too this weekend. It's just really growing. I think it really like the new soil. There's a little egg plant in there and egg plant in here. It's not gonna make it I think. But that guy, it's looking okay. I think this is a Rosa Bianca eggplant. The tomatoes on this bed are finally starting to grow. Oh, I can see there's actually a blossom on this one. I might think I'm gonna pinch it off or not. What should I do? I'll think about it. Probably pinch it off so it gets too strong and grow bigger. But I'm scared that I'll, I'll, I'll think I'll think about it. That's more tomatoes there. This guy's looking really healthy very thick stem and I put a purple base in here too for beauty so this bed would be six tomatoes that kale might have to go some basil on the edges a marigold on the edge and a couple um, small eggplants I put it some of my overwintered peppers in here I see some new growth but they're kind of yellow too so Hopefully they will make it. That one is looking much better. The growth is much bigger. And I transplanted one of my not so good looking pepper seedlings here just to see if what's gonna if it's gonna grow. Put a couple of tomatoes in the back there. It's another marigold that's pretty big. Wow, they really grew fast. Over here, the bed that you guys already know, it's been here for a while. Kale that's bolting. Beautiful sweet shard that's getting huge. Some uh, radish in the back. Place this in here. It's something very strange. Oh no, someone ate whatever I have planted there. Oh great, love this girl. 
I don't know, this guy is not looking very good too. This leaves look... Is it sickness? Can anybody tell me? I don't know what this is. If you know, please help me out in the comments below. And that guy there looks like got sunburned. Interesting. See, see how those leaves are really white? It's really interesting because... Oh, is this something else? It really looks like sunburn. Down here, some leaf miner. Oh, please, let my plants leave. <laughs> Uh, it's interesting because these all were planted at the same time and they got all uh, hard enough at the same time. So I thought it was used to the sun, but apparently this guy was not. Maybe it was shaded by another leaf and got a little hurt here. There's an okra in here too. I need to take the weeds around out. Put it a little owl in here to try to scare away the mice and the squirrels. Let's see if it works. And here on this side, there are the plant, the flowers that I planted. I put some more seeds in there. Here on this side, I planted some beans, actually. Some Brazilian beans that a very kind neighbor, Brazilian neighbor of mine gave to me. So I put some in there. I didn't see any sprouts in it, so I don't know if they're going to come out or not. But we're going to give it a try. It looks like it was dug. So I wonder if some animal actually ate the beans that I planted in here. That's what it's looking like. I haven't planted anything on this bed yet. So I better talk to my neighbors to see if I can plant a little bit more. So I will. That's why I have all of those things on that cart. On this one over here, we planted all beans from seed. And because I planted some seeds in there, I, I can't really weed it until they come out. So I, the weeds are kind of taking over again. I weeded it before I planted, but now they're growing off fast again. I don't see any bean sprouts there either. But those are bush beans if they come out, if they sprout. And this side too, full of weeds. I gotta work on that when I have some time. And that will be it. Thank you so much for watching again. As always, if you have any comments or anything, please don't hesitate to leave them down below. If you know about anything that I asked with this little leaves and the bees that might have been happening here. I love to get your help to try to figure that out too. I'm looking forward to putting some new stuff in here and I'll see you next week.